Hi, my name's Ricky, Solutions Engineer here at Algolia. And today, I'm here to show you just how easy it is to get started with NeuroSearch. If you haven't heard about it yet, it's our latest technology that lets you search via concepts rather than keywords. So let me just quickly show you what exactly that means. Here, we have this electronic store with a ton of different products. Now, we're so conditioned by search to search via keywords, right? Thinking of what this item could be tagged with and sort of not really how I could just naturally describe it. With NeuroSearch, we enable you to do that. So I saw recently some videos of some gamers playing with these keyboards that were loud and clunky. Now, if I try to type that in, I probably won't find any good results for that with keyboard with keyword search. Looking for this loud, clunky keyboard, the engine doesn't really understand that I'm looking for a mechanical keyboard. And the thing is, I don't know that it's called a mechanical keyboard. All I could do is just describe how I think it, you know, looks, feels, and acts. If we switch to neural, we can see that the same search for loud, clunky keyboard is actually pulling results for those mechanical keyboards. And here we could see these vector results are returning exactly what I'm looking for. Now, how do I go about enabling this? It's super easy. I'm over here in my Algolia dashboard, and it's really two steps to get started. First, you want to make sure you're sending events. Now, events are your way of dictating to Algolia's engine what user behaviors are being seen out in your user experience. Now, you get to actually control what these signals are, and ultimately they come in the forms of clicks or conversions. Let's go ahead and make sure we're setting those first. You can do that by going over to data sources and checking the event debugger. Here we could see in the past seven days, we're receiving a healthy number of clicks and a healthy number of conversions. And then in the last 30 days, we have over 172,000 events, more than enough for neural search. So let's go ahead and enable it. Now, before we do that, let's try and understand our goal here. I have in this index a collection of furniture items and other home goods. And what I'm trying to do is search for a cozy chair for my kids. We can see we have some results and what we're doing is keyword matching, but I know there's more in this index. So let's go ahead and turn on neural search. We already saw our events are flowing in. So we come here and hit configure neural search. What you're, wanna, what you're gonna wanna do is add that event source. So you come here, find whichever index is collecting those events and hit apply. Let the machine run for a couple seconds and it'll let you know, boom, you have enough events. If you activate neural search, that'll go ahead and enable it on the index. But before doing so, it's always good to see neural search in action. So let's do that. This is gonna let us test it before launching it into the wild. Now, let's just give it a few moments to set up the environment. And just like that, neural search is activated on our index. Now we could go ahead and run that same search. Cozy chair for kids. And we see with keyword, we're still getting those two results. But now we have this compare with neural search button. When we hit that, we still see our strong keyword results on the left, but we could see that the neural search enables us to pull much more matches. And well, they look like they're pretty comfortable chairs for kids. Now, a good next step here is launching an A-B test. And what this will do is let you test neural search out in the wild. Simply click here to launch one. We'll see that you get to dictate the tracker percentage. So how much percent do you want to receive the normal keyword only index? And how much do you want to receive the neural index? And you can even set a duration. Go ahead and hit launch. That A-B test will start running immediately in production. You'll see the results here. And once the test concludes, it's as easy as hitting activate to launch it out in the wild. 